Yesterday evening, March 23rd, 2022, Delta Airlines took delivery of its first Airbus A321neo, more specifically the A321-271NX model. November 501DA, which will be ship number 5001 in the Delta fleet, departed Airbus's facility in Hamburg, Germany, XFW, as flight Delta 9936 around 4pm local time. 5001 would make a scheduled stop in Bangor, Maine just after 6pm after a 7 hour and 25 minute flight. The aircraft would then depart after being on the ground for an hour and a half and fly its second and final leg. The aircraft arrived at Delta's headquarters in Atlanta, Georgia, ATL, just after 11 p.m. local time after a 3 hour and 5 minute flight. All in total, 10 and a half hours flying time. 5001 comes equipped with two Pratt & Whitney PW1133G geared turbofan engines, which Delta is no stranger to as it operates the PW1500 series on its Airbus A220 fleet, which comes from the same PW1000 family. With this new engine option, the aircraft will have a range of roughly 4,000 nautical miles. The aircraft came capable of ETOPS operations. Although it will be used mostly for domestic routes because of its range and ETOPS capability, the aircraft will be used to eventually replace some international routes as well as some long-haul oceanic domestic routes such as those to Hawaii, much like how JetBlue and Hawaiian operate their 321neos. This also gives the airline the ability to serve new overseas routes that simply did not have the passenger demand to fill a wide-body aircraft. With the new aircraft comes the next generation, first-class cabin seat product, designed in partnership with Recaro. The aircraft will feature 194 seats, three more than the cabin of the CEO, in a three-class configuration. It will have 20 new first-class seats, 42 Comfort Plus seats, and 132 main cabin seats. Delta now joins other U.S. carriers such as Alaska, American, Hawaiian, and JetBlue who operate this latest variant in the Airbus A320 family. Other North American carriers such as Frontier, Spirit, United, and announced just days ago Air Canada have firm orders for the A320neo as well. Only three months ago on December 16, 2021, Delta took delivery of not only its last Airbus A321 CEO, which had the old CFM56 engine option, but the last 321 CEO to be produced by Airbus. This latest aircraft would bring their 321 CEO fleet to a total of 127 aircraft, with an additional 155 NEOs on order. After its conformity check, the first NEO is expected to enter into service May of this year. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this aviation news segment, and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already.